My name is Nina. I'm a certified personal trainer and strength and conditioning coach. And this is a kettlebell lower body workout. Now I have three kettlebell weights here. I've got light, medium, and heavy. If you only have one kettlebell, that's fine. If you don't have kettlebells, you can use a hand weight. And another option is to use body weight. So let's get going. Grab your lightest kettlebell. We're gonna start with 10 static lunges on each leg, just to warm up that lower body. And actually I should have brought my knee in a little bit uh, more forward, that back leg. But you don't have to touch the ground, but just try to get as low as you can to the ground. We're gonna use the heavier kettlebells later, just gonna start with something light. You always wanna start your warm up either with body weight or with just really light weights. So let's go ahead and do 10 static lunges on the other side. And I have one arm out for balance and the other hand is holding the kettlebell. It makes it easier to hold the kettlebell on the side with the leg that's further back. And then my chin is up, I'm looking straight ahead. So now let's go ahead and start with some hip hinges and then we're gonna do some swings. But right now I just wanna kinda of just give you a little bit of a preview of what it looks like from the front. So let's go ahead and practice some hip hinges just to warm up that low back. So you can see I'm looking down as I go down. So we're gonna do eight hip hinges and then we're gonna do 10 swings. So let's just go ahead and start with a light kettlebell and then we will switch the kettlebell. So Again, my back is straight. I'm looking down as I'm going down, as I'm standing back up. So let's go ahead and swing it. Let's do 10 swings. So I'm not using my arms. I'm using momentum and my hips. So I'm throwing my hips forward. I'm stopping at shoulder height. So if I was going to use my arms, I'd be muscling that up and we don't want to do that. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab the medium weight because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a swing and a hip forward. So swing and then hop, two, three, four, and then walk it back, one, two, three, four. Okay, so again, make sure that your abs are contracted when you lean over so they're just, not just hanging down. Go ahead and step back for four. Hinge forward, flat back, retract those shoulders. And just make sure the really important thing is that your back is not rounded. That's one of the worst things. And then you would end up with back pain, which we do not want. We want you to get stronger. Let's go ahead and put that weight down. We're gonna, next one, I'm just gonna show you a little preview here. We're gonna do goblet squats. So I've got, you can do a medium or a heavy weight. I've got the kettlebell right in front of my chest and my elbows, I'm trying to reach them to my legs. If you've got amazing flexibility and you've done this several times, you can actually go a little lower. So here it is. Now I have, we're gonna do 15 up and down. I have a riser and I have my heels raised. So that allows me to get more, um, it's basically putting the emphasis on my quads, which is the front of the leg. And also if you have ankles that are not as mobile, limited in any way like that, you can use a riser and it also feels better and sometimes you can actually go even lower. So I love using risers. I just got this one from Amazon. All right, pop that one down. So the next one, actually grab a medium or heavy kettlebell. We're gonna do kettlebell deadlifts. So it's, it's basically like the swing, but we're not swinging it. So I'm bringing my kettlebell down to my heels and then I'm standing back up. Again, you're trying to do a flat back, your upper back, really important. Don't round those shoulders. I know it's really hard with that kettlebell right in front, but just try to keep the shoulders back and down. You don't want them hiked up because that will create neck tension. So. These kettlebell deadlifts really work the upper back and the lower back. It actually works your entire, your entire body because it also works your glutes 
and your hamstrings. So your butt and the back of your legs. Just wanna make sure your neck and head is neutral. In other words, everything's all in a straight line. And make sure to push those knees out as you go down. And as you stand up, it's natural for them to go right straight. Just make sure their your knees don't cave in. Anytime you're doing a squat or a deadlift, you always want to keep those knees a little bit out or just make sure they never go in. All right, let's go ahead and grab the heavy kettlebell. I've got my heels elevated and I've got my hands low. So it's no longer at my chest and I'm going to not bring the kettlebell to my heels, but more forward. So it's going to be more towards my toes. So I'm not going all the way down because if I did, I would round my low back and that's called a butt wink. It's not good for your back. It's not good form and it doesn't look so great. So everyone's depth is a little bit different. So just go with what feels right for you. Just go at your own pace, at your own level. And again, try to keep that back straight. Of course, when you lean forward, it's, you know, as long as you're not rounding, it's okay to lean forward. Just make sure it's not rounding. All right, pop that down. Or you can keep that weight. Actually, no, let's go with a medium weight. We're gonna do a single leg deadlift. So I'm showing you from the front first. So it's the kettlebell is in line with the leg. So I'm doing a kickback. So we're gonna do 15 on each leg. So I have, on the opposite leg, I have my heel raised with a little bit of pressure on the front toe. I'm really trying to put emphasis on the leg that's straighter. So my leg is not locked out, so it's not completely straight. There is a little bit of a bend in that leg that I'm really working. So the one that's straighter is the, the hamstring, the back of your leg that you're working. And again, I'm not that flexible, so I can't go that far down. Some people can go all the way down to the floor. Totally not necessary, but if you can do it and it feels good and you're not straining, then that's totally fine. As long as your low back is not hurting and you're still able to keep that upper back and the back of the shoulder without falling forward. All right, when you're done with those 15 repetitions, let's go ahead and go on the other side. And again, you're looking a little bit down as you go down, and as you stand up straight, you're looking straight ahead. One of the challenges of the deadlift is trying to get that shoulder to stay back because gravity is pulling that shoulder down. And then when you have that kettlebell, you've got that additional weight. So what's good and bad about that is that you're working your upper back and the, the back of their shoulders. So Sometimes I just have people start with really light weights because that muscle on the back of the shoulder is a little muscle. So it's, it's hard to use really heavy weights and keep that retracted properly. How you doing? Almost done. One more. Or maybe a couple more. <laughs> I lost track. All right, yay, that was it. All right, great, good job. Fantastic job. All right, let's go ahead and do a quad stretch. We're stretching the front of the leg. You can either balance or hold on to a chair. Bring your heel to your butt. I changed my Instagram to Fitness Coach Nina. It was, whoops, don't fall. It was um, Fit Girl USA. I just thought it was time to update that. Go ahead and switch legs. Let me know if you like this video by giving me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and make sure to tap that bell. Uh, select all, otherwise you won't be notified when I post a new movie. We're doing a hamstring stretch right now, stretching out the back of the leg. Make sure to flex that foot, stretch out the other side. Share this video with whoever you think may like it too. In the comments below, let me know which of these exercises was your favorite. Go ahead and pop down on the, uh, the ground. Take your shoes off if you have them on. Let me know if you found this workout hard or easy. 
So let's go ahead and do a hip and glute stretch. So I have one foot over my leg and then I'm pretty flexible so I can lean forward. If this is too much for you, just sit up straight and do what you can. Again, you should feel the stretch, but no pain. If you're new to my channel, I publish exercise videos, funny videos, and weight loss tips. Go ahead and switch sides. Sign up for my blog at my website to receive twice week weekly healthy dairy-free recipes, weight loss tips, and other videos you may have missed. If you want more stretching or if you want to work out a little longer, I have two videos up here that I chose for you that I thought you might enjoy. Again, if you're pretty stre uh, stretchy, <laughs> you can uh, lean even more forward. Go ahead and sit up. We're going to do a butterfly stretch. So if this is too much, just sit up a little bit further back. You want your knees as close to the ground as you can. Don't roll your shoulders. Sit up straight and tall. So check out those other videos. Drink lots of water and I will see you soon. Have a great day.